Hi, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do part two of system monitoring tools. I've since moved to Nobara project, which is Fedora based. And somebody asked me recently whether I installed some additional software after I installed Nobara. Um, for the gaming type of software, I didn't really remember installing anything, but there was some, some tools that I had to reinstall after moving there, such as the system monitoring. I'm not going to cover the ones that I've previously covered before, like P-Sensor, but I will say one thing that when I did move to Fedora, that my CPU power no longer worked. So I had to install some additional tools, but yeah, I'm just going to cover G-Overlay briefly again. G-Overlay is mostly used by everybody for monitoring performance while gaming. As you can see, um, installation is quite simple. It supports most distributions like Fedora, OpenSUSE, Debian based as well, Ubuntu, and if you want to compare it from source, you can also do that. So something I noticed in quite a lot of gameplay videos from Linux content creators is, is that the power draw never seems to be working in G-Overlay or Mango Hut. Yeah, so to enable that, you need to go to the Metrics tab. Then you can click on Power at the bottom there. As you can see, this will say power, fixed power for the for Intel CPUs. If you've got an Intel CPU, then you can just do that. And you will need to give root access. Once you give root access, some additional modules will be loaded. For Fedora, unfortunately, my AMD CPU didn't work anymore, so I had to install a program called ZenPower3. As you can see, ZenPower3 also Debian based stuff, the Arch can install it from AOR. Um, for Fedora, I use this copper repository. As you can see, you just install ZenPower. You can also install ZenMonitor3. And if you want to run ZenMonitor, You also run this and it will show you all your CPU related information like that. And of course, once you've installed it, you have to just follow this, unload that. Um, this is optional, you don't have to do this, but I've done this. Then to activate ZenPower, just do sudo mod pro ZenPower, and you just do the sensors detect again, and then it should work. And then sensors will look like this. So previously there was a portion here for all the CPU related stuff. Now gone the K10. And then as you can see, it will show you all your CPU related related metrics right here. For my NVMe drive. And then of course for my GPU. Another cool program that I discovered a while back is called Clero. It's to Monitor and control your cooling devices like your fans, your graphics card, for your case fans, your CPU fans, etc. So I will also link this page in the description. As you can see, there's a lot of devices that support it. Installation, you can do it via app image, you can do it via flat pack, you can do it via AUR. Okay, so then once you open it, you've got a nice system overview. You can see your CPU temp, GPU temp. All the different temps of your edge, junction, memory, fan speed you can see here. Then, and then, if, for instance, if you want to control the fans, you can just click on ABM GPU and then on a fan. Then you can tell it what you should use as the temperature source. For instance, if you want to use the edge, junction, memory, or if you want to actually make one of the other metrics within the, the system temperature source. Then you can leave it on default, you can put it to fix, or you can put it to custom. And then the same you can do for all your different case fans. For instance, this fan one I know is my CPU fan. Same thing here as well, you can decide what would be the temperature source for triggering the fan speed. Additional fans in your case as well. Monitor like that. So one thing is that I didn't install P sensors on on Fedora, um, I had some problems installing it. I, I, I installed it at first from some copper repository and it was not working correctly. So I completely ditched that whole idea. KDE does have quite a nice system monitor built in. By default, what you would see is if you get these default tabs, this, you can do your memory, 
your desk, your CPU usage, networks, etc., etc. You view applications, CPU core usage, memory, etc. You can do the build history, and then of course you can view all the processes here. And if you want to kill processes, etc., you can do it here as well. So apart from the default uh, tabs that there is for monitoring, you can also build your own custom ones. So you can say add new page, give it a name, and then that's exactly what I did over here. And then what I did is I just create my own one for system temps. I'll show you that works. Click on system temps. Then you can choose what you want to use. If you want to use a line chart, for instance. And then if, if you want to go to the sources, I go to hardware sensors. And this one will show you all the RPMs for your, for your motherboard sensors. And this one is for my NVMe drives. And this one is for the CPU. And then of course, if you go to GPU, you can, you can put all the temperatures and stuff that you want there. And then if you want to edit something, you can give it whatever names you want, like for instance this one there. Type whatever you want. And of course, just to make it easier for you to identify, you just click save. And yeah, this is actually a strange bug that I found out in KDE. As soon as I click save this, for some reason these two does not want to work. So I just put out of there. And if I go back in, then it's working. And yeah, just to double check that everything's working correctly, I can, for instance, use core control. Just maybe make it fixed. Then the fan, fan is ramping up. And there I can see that the fan is ramping up and it's working correctly. So yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. If there's any further suggestions that you've got for content that you want me to create, please let me know in the comments. So have a good day and take care. Cheers.